You could do that. All right, we're live, Tollins. Hola, hola. Let me see if I can turn on the um, the live chat. Bring you guys closer. There you go. Hi, Tollins. The exposing elf is here. Hi. How are you guys? Thank you, Dolan. Do you guys like the ensemble? It's a little, it's a little tight and my belt kind of came off. <laughs> I ain't trying to have a melt. Look at, see, it's already coming off. Hold on, guys. A few seconds in, it's already wanting to come loose. <laughs> Where is my entourage? Dolan's. There you go. There will be no slip tit come out. <laughs> there will be none of that. There you go. There you go. It's nice and tight now. <laughs> okay. Just enough. Just enough. All right. Uh oh. Okay. Ah. Oh. Hola, hola. I got my coffee here. Oh, mm, mm, mm. Chestnut praline latte. Right here, darling, right here. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, so I have several decks that I will be <clears throat> using in today's live. It's going to be a collective read. I don't know if I want to do it in groups or... Hmm. Maybe I should. Let me get some props and maybe we can do like a little... Uh, pick, a, pick a Christmas prop. Because I know people get really like sensitive. <laughs> like, where are the timestamps? We have no props or nothing to choose from. And it's like, can it just be alive? <laughs> Damn. Okay, so we have group number one will be the gingerbread man. Gingerbread cookie. Ah. Okay, so this one will be for group number one. Group number two, we will have the cafe, the cup of coffee. Coffee latte with a little heart on top. Okay, so that will be for group two. And of course, we'll probably use the uh, What's Brewing deck with that. So we shall see. I don't know. Depending on how I feel. Um, What else? Where's all my props? Daisy, give me that um, Frappuccino. Right there. And then we'll do the little mocha. What is this? Coco Mocha Blended Frappuccino. So this will be for group three. So number one, okay. Number two, number three, okay. But before we begin the groups, we're going to do just a collective read for everybody. So if somebody will be a dear, and uh, or an elf and uh, do the little timestamps for me i would appreciate it thank you you like my background it's one of many that i have so more to come darlings and i like it because when i shake 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 you can hear a jingle <laughs> that's such a creep ah, all right let's do a collective spread i think i'm gonna go with my Christmas love oracle. Woo! So we're going to get into my Christmas love oracle. Bam, chicka, chicka, chicka. And then we will get into my snowflake oracle. Oka doka. Let's see, Tollins. Shake it, baby. Shake it. All right. What do we have for my collective of Fuego bitches? 
Okay. Here we go. What do we have for my bitches? Oh, oh. Okay, that's a lot. I'm not gonna take this big old freaking stack, but I am gonna take the one that fell and flipped, which we have <laughs> exposed. Hey, go figure, the exposing elf is here, darlings. So look at that bitch. Somebody is about to get exposed. Whether it's you being exposed, whether it's somebody you know that's going to be exposed. A lot of motherfuckers, let me tell you, a lot of motherfuckers are going to be exposed. Okay, let me make sure that my hair looks not too flat because I hate it when it's too flat. Okay, tell me more. What else do we have? Okay, thank you. Oh, your intentions. We got sweet tooth, get in my mouth. Somebody is going to be exposed in a way where you're like, honey, mama wants that candy cane. Mommy wants that candy cane up in my mouth. I want to suck on that shit. So... <laughs> It could be you, okay? You could probably like, you know, tell somebody or give them hints that you want them or something this holiday in the next week or so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look what just came out, bitch. I can't. I want to spoil you. Somebody, a divine masculine or a new love interest, bitch, or a new love interest wants to spoil you look at that i got what you need oh oh no wonder why it makes fucking sense right you're like get in my mouth honey i want that candy cane that candy dangle lang. okay okay we like that we like that <gasps> look at the two Bitch, I fucking cannot. We have Sancho, which is the lover. And then we have Let's Get Away. <gasps> Somebody wants to get away with you, honey. And do the freaky dicky, the bounce go wow wow. Okay. Mr. Lover Boy over here, the one that wants to spoil you with their candy cane. <laughs> they either want to take you to go see their family or they want to spend some quality time with you. And you're just going to have a sweet motherfucking tooth, honey. You might have a little bit too much to drink. And then you're like, oh, I said too much. Oh, accidentally told them that I wanted their dangling. So I don't know. I feel like you might be like, you know how she is? Like, you might be a little shy around this person. This person like makes you shy. Until you start to have like, you know, drinks in your system. Then you're all over the fucking place. <laughs> Yeah, look at the bottom of the deck. Holiday travel. You see? I mean, come on now. We have holiday travel and let's get away. What does that tell you? Hello? Hello? They want to spend some quality time with you, honey. I mean, if they look this good, <laughs> sign me the fuck up, bitch. Okay. What else do we have? Sign me up, right? Yeah, I see some of my Divine Feminines even dressing up cute, even dressing up in their little naughty elf costume like me. <laughs> I, can't even, I can't even walk out of my room like this. Ooh, we have some family time. Look at this. Somebody wants to take you to meet their family. If you're single, if like, let's say, for example, if you're a single parent, a, a single mom, um, there, you could be meeting or talking to like a single dad and you both have your own children and it's like merging your little families together. I'm also hearing find a babysitter. Let's get away. Some of you guys will be finding a sitter to get away if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, honey. Uh -uh, that's way too many. Shit, sexual indulgence. Some of you guys are dealing with a person who just likes to fuck with more than one person. I feel like this is separated from the lover that we have here. This could be another man, okay? So this could be the one that's constantly like ghosting you and in and out, the one that you never know where you are, you know, 
connection wise this person is sexually indulging with multiple lovers and you need to be very careful with this one because you know you ain't trying to catch nothing honey we don't want no cookie crumbs okay ain't nobody trying to get no cookie crumbs what else do we have here for the collective oh shit some of you guys are expecting or will find out that you are either pregnant or you're finally going to you know expose that you are to the public um or you're going to get knocked up this month okay and obviously either you know you don't know how to tell it to this person and because you're afraid that they don't want you know they're not going to want to take care of it or whatever but it turns out that they're going to be really happy so Whew. okay let's get one more oh we got stuck this is interesting some of you guys are going to have a really hard time in the next week or so something's going to happen where either your your car gets like stuck somewhere um it says stuck in a rut either snowed in bad weather you make plans and you're snowed in or you're stuck somewhere and you can't go anywhere maybe because of covid maybe some shit happened and now you can't leave and you know you're just having a hard time you know it could also represent that you are stuck in some really toxic situation and you can't get out of it or you're trying to get out of it i'm also picking up toxic family members some of you guys are going to be stuck for a few days with toxic family members whether it's yours or your spouse's or whoever's and yeah you're going to be drinking a lot more than you than you used to because you are trying to get through the whole monster-in-law thing or the whole fucked up family thing and you're just like, fuck, this is the last shit I wanted to deal with. You just wanted to have a magical Christmas, whoever this is for. Oh, all right. So let's get some from the Snowflake Oracle. I really like the first messages, though. You know what I mean? With the sweet tooth and the little uh, sweet indulgence. <laughs> so let's see what we have with the Snowflake Oracle. Let me take a sip really quick. Okay. Oh, two of them came out. So we have Magic Touch. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I don't know why I'm getting those vibes of uh, a massage therapist or someone is really good with their hands. You you got really uh, good healing hands. Whether you're into Reiki healing or you've always been told that you your touch, everything that you touch is just so like um, warm and, and magical. And it's like some of you guys have that magic touch in your garden, too, if you want to grow stuff like you just have that. Um, you guys are also adding personal touches to uh, gifts that are going to stand out the most. OK, the, I don't know who that's for. And I'm also hearing that somebody likes the way your hands feel when you touch them. If you know what I mean. <laughs> anyway, so we have ice skating and dancing in the cold. Some of you guys are feeling lonely uh, or have been feeling lonely the past few days. But um, you're learning how to dance in the cold, meaning it's a metaphor for you're making the most of it. You're, you're ice skating. You're having fun while you're alone you're having fun you know being left out in the cold or being ghosted or whatever you're making the most of it and enjoying yourself and practicing self-love and you are just like you're doing the damn thing and it looks damn good on you hunty okay all right let's see what else we have you make me happy oh how cute <laughs> Some of you guys are going to be, you know, either moving in with a, a, a love interest or you're going to be spending more time with them at their house. OK, and so I feel like this this month is going to bring you guys closer together. And it's like whenever you guys are with each other, you just make each other really, really happy. And even when you're apart one day, you feel like the whole world is ending right you you get like separation anxiety for those who are in a relationship 
for those that are not in a relationship, you could be meeting someone that, you know, you just have to be connected or stuck to them all the time because the moment you guys separate or go home or whatever, it's like, oh my God, I, I want to see you already. Like, I miss you already. I'm also picking up that you are using your animal, like your cat or your dog, to try to um, get your person to call you or contact you. Like, oh my God, look at Lucy. Doesn't she look cute in her little dress? <laughs> You're all using your fucking dog. Like, <laughs> you're using your dog to get what you want. <laughs> so, ooh, some of you guys are going to be sabotaging a situation. Look at them burnt ass cookies. Look at this shit. <laughs> You're like, I can't even, you know, cook or bake. I sabotage every relationship I'm in. I self-sabotage. I meet a good man. I keep complaining that I want a good man. And when I finally get a good man, I sabotage it. And you're like, why am I like this? A lot of you guys are wondering why you're like that. Whether this is you or a person you've been dealing with. What did that say? Burnt ass cookies, yes. Oh, I love you too. Okay, let's see what else. <clears throat> you see that? My throat chakra is breaking up. Someone's going to have a hard time expressing how they feel towards you. They can't find the right words to say. You know? That song is coming up to me. That What is it called? Um, who sings it? It ain't my fault. Did I do that? It ain't my fault. Did I do that? Who sings that fucking song? It's a dude. It ain't my fault. Is it mystical? It can't be. Who is it? Uh, somebody has to fucking know. It's an old school song. Whatever it is, someone's like, it's not my fault. I didn't do it. Like someone's getting blamed for something or someone's pointing the fingers at you for something, whether it's a sabotaging situation or whatever. And you're like, it wasn't me. Someone could be lying or someone could be actually accused. And you're like, what the fuck? It was it Master P? I don't know, honey. I don't know. Okay, so oh, these two cards came out together, bitch. Oh, so we have open communication and we have promise ring. Look at this. Thank you, darling. <laughs> we have promise me ring and open communication. Some of you guys are going to be having that heart to heart conversation with your person. Um, if you're not in communication or in union with your divine masculine or your person, whatever you want to like label it, it's going to be happening, whether it's this month or in January um, or coming close to January. I'm picking up, especially if you have been spending a lot of time with them, whether it's this person or not, or connected to this person. Um, oh, I thought they had a little doggy. It's a cup of coffee. Well, look at how they're communicating, right? They're, they're smiling. They're happy. I feel like this person is going to give you a gift. Like, I promise to never leave your side. I promise to never love anyone as much as I love you. Or you're just going to get a gift of a prom a promise ring. You know what I mean? Like, it's a promise that I'll never separate myself from you. It could also be like a contract from a past life. Like, a promised, uh, I don't know, a promised contract? What? A promised, a promised union. Whatever the fuck it's promised. I, whatever it is. And then we have firework kisses, you see? It could be, uh, it could be New Year's, okay? It could be New Year's. Somebody is, is either meeting someone at a New Year's party or whatever. It could be karmic contract. Um, a New Year's party. Or you're reuniting with like a, a friend from back in the days. And then when you guys finally kiss or you didn't know there was a connection between you guys and you guys have been friends for so long. Or it's like, yeah, what? You? This whole time it was you? And it was like, you know, from back in the day or whatever. And you guys end up end up hitting it off. Like, this person has always been there, but they've been hidden. And you've been hidden. You know how that, that saying goes, um, it's always right in front of you and you don't realize it until the time comes and then you're suddenly realizing someone or they're like appearing in your fucking face and you're like where the fuck did you come from and you're like bitch i've been in your class for how many years we went to college for how many years and it's like damn it's it's it was you this whole fucking time i'm getting something like that for some of you all right 
and you and this person are going to have like, I don't know, you're going to hit it off really, really well. And when you kiss, baby, you're fine, you work. You know what I mean? <laughs> Ooh, uh oh, don't nobody like this one. We got weight gain, bitch. A lot of you guys have really gained some weight, including myself. <laughs> gobble, gobble, bitch. But you know what I mean. Sometimes you got to embrace your curves. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. But yeah, some of you guys are freaking out because you have gained a lot of weight or maybe fucking 10 pounds is a lot of weight for you. And you're like, oh my God, I need to go on a fucking, you know, program and I see some of you guys uh, buying workout equipment or just taking really good care of your weight for the upcoming month. All right. You're like, I gained some weight. <laughs> oh, girl, every time I get hungry, I'm like already gaining 20 pounds just by getting hungry. I'm like, can you fucking stop, bitch? Okay. Can you stop? It sucks to be human, huh? You poor unfortunate souls. All right. Hopefully you're not making a deal with the devil to try to lose weight. Right? Just like the little mermaid did with Ursula. Ursula the motherfucking karmic. Where the hell did this go? Oh, shit. Hold on. My Christmas cards got messed up with my what's the tea deck. Hold on. Ooh, yes, I'm giving you a cuddle for Christmas. We got Cuddle Buddy here. Ooh, someone's going to be cuddling. You see, this cuddle leads to um, pregnancy. Yeah, because <laughs> then you're craving the candy cane, and then suddenly you're, like, knocked up. <laughs> Throwing up in the toilet, like, how did this happen? Gee, I don't know. You, were, you took way too many hits or shots. <laughs> Oh, somebody's mad at you for whoever you are. It says, you ain't getting shit from me. Look at this. Oh, you could have a, a, a narcissistic or a toxic ex, okay, that is pissed off at you. They're mad at you either because you're not giving them the time of day or whatever. And this person's like, you ain't getting shit from me. <laughs> well, that's because you didn't give them shit because you kept all this to yourself, auntie. So let them stay mad. Okay, let them stay fucking mad. They could stay they ass mad. Ah! I'm over here making a mess. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, let's start with the groups. So that was just a quick little fun collective read. If it resonated, it resonated. If it didn't, then it fucking didn't. <gasps> One of the props fell. Hold on, guys. Hold on. You can see my nut, my nalgas. Okay, so, all right, darlings. Okay, so if you chose the gingerbread cookie, this message is for you. So we're just gonna pull from random cards, uh, ra random decks and see um, what comes out, okay? It could be a mix of messages or I wish I could just let this float in the air like can you just magically float <laughs> but then i'd be exposing myself no <laughs> anyways all right so for my group number one my collective we're gonna start the mature audience tarot holiday edition by the witchery goddess all right so what do we have for group number one let me grab my cleansing spray because, you know, we need to cleanse for each group, right? This is the Galactic Vortex Spray. I got it off of Bridget Rowell uh, Divine Essentials Etsy shop. It smells really good. All right, what do we have for group number one? Here we go. I should have played some Christmas music. I feel like Christmas music is missing. Okay, so we have the King of Swords. <laughs> it says, I am the gift. 
of course, a fucking Aquarius man or an air sign man would be like, I'm your gift. I'm your blessing. Me, 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 me. <laughs> so we have an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini male that some of you guys are dealing with, or you're an air sign yourself, whether you're in a masculine energy or feminine energy. This person thinks that you need them or you probably really do need them. But let's see. Tell me more. Tell me more. Ooh, it says, let's talk. So this King of Swords here wants to talk. They've been spying on you with the Page of Swords card. They've been peeping you out. They've been waiting for the right time to communicate with you. Like they want to have the talk with you. Okay. It doesn't have to be an air sign, but that's the energy that either they're in or they are an air sign. So this person wants to communicate with you. What is this about? What do they want to talk to you about? Whether it's male or female, depending on the viewer. And remember, all these messages are timeless. Okay. We have the three of wands. What are you waiting for? Yeah, you see, I feel like this King of Swords has been like waiting and waiting and waiting to communicate with you. And it's like, I'm waiting for the right time to communicate. I'm waiting for the perfect time to tell her how I truly feel, to speak what's on my mind, whatever to see how he's in deep thought. And now that he's been watching and waiting and observing you and all that shit, he's like, okay, it's time. Let's talk. We, we, there's some things we need, we need to communicate. Okay, so I don't know if you could see, but yeah. They want to talk. Like, can we talk about those motherfucking abs? First of all, <laughs> like, first of all, those abs, we need to talk about that. Okay, let's see what else. Yeah, something has been highly on their noggin. So, we have the magician. Let me be your Christmas magic. Ooh, look at you. Let me be your angel. Let me be the one. How does it go? You believe in. I think that's how it goes. I don't know. I'm not good with the lyrics anymore. Okay, so the magician. Either you have been drawing this person in with your personality, your charisma, your magic, whatever the fuck it is. Um, it's like you've been wanting this person and... You are not the type, group one. You're not the type that's like out there begging this person for communication or attention. You kind of already figured them out. You figured out the way, you know, the way that they are. Like, okay, this person doesn't like to talk too much or they're like in and out, but I'm kind of like getting their routine. So it's kind of like you're playing them at their own game or you're just, uh, you're playing your cards right with this person. And they've... Yeah, whatever you're doing, manifesting them, they have been receiving those those downloads because, you know, you're the magician. You're the little brujita. You're doing your little jujus or whatever the fuck that you're doing. And you're constantly on this person's mind. So they want a little piece of you, honey. Okay. Page of Wands, say what? You see that communication? That phone that she has? And it's funny because the guy's like, well, let's talk, right? Let's talk. And they could be saying something like, hey, I've always loved you. Or, hey, I love you and I want to be with you. Or whatever. And then you hit that ding message on your phone or that Instagram message or whatever message, whether you have their phone number or not. And then suddenly you're like freaked out because you're like, what? They, they wrote me? They know how to talk? They know how to fucking use their thumb? <laughs> I'm only saying that because they never write you. And then you're just like, they confess something. I feel like it's a confession. So they could be confessing something to you. And you're like, say what? Page of swords and page of wands. Yes, bitch. Yes. So let's see what else we have here. This person wants to communicate. I feel like it's something to do with their feelings. Mrs. Claus, you want me to keep your naughty secrets in my book? So you're asking this person, you want me to keep your secrets? Like this person, their confession to you is low key. It's like a secret or some shit. And it's funny because Mrs. Claus is like, she's one of the main ones. It's kind of like the empress in the, in the tarot, I believe, in this deck. So I don't know if this could be a married person. And it, something has to be low key. It could be as simple as, hey, I've been watching you. I think you're sexy. Like, what's up? 
and you're like what you're married dude like what the fuck it could be for some it's something like that and for others it's someone that you have been waiting for them to to reach out so we're gonna pull some um confession cards okay which ones do i want to use Okay, well, go ahead and use the Divine Masculine Whispers of the Heart Oracle. So, and this is from um, Channeling the Venus 222. So we'll go ahead and see what this person wants to confess to you. What do they want to say to you? What is it that they want to talk to you about? Okay, what are some of the things they want to confess to you? Let's see. Okay, I keep telling myself all the reasons why it wouldn't work out, but at the end, all I want is you. <laughs> T, bitch, T. <laughs> See, it's so funny because it's like they're sitting there thinking and fucking contemplating, right? Like, I keep telling myself all the reasons why, you know, this connection wouldn't work out or whatever, but it's like at the end of it, at the end of all the connections, all the other bitches or whatever, the fucking it's you it's always been you bam the tea bitch the tea okay let's see what else tell me more tell me more i just can't stop loving you <laughs> bitch i'm telling you see no matter what i do i can't stop loving you I'm incapable of leaving you alone. You see, <laughs> I have a feeling like this motherfucker even tried to stop spying on you and even probably tried to block you once in a blue moon. And they do it on and off sometimes, right? But then they're just like, they come back to checking you out or scoping you out. And it's just like, okay, I surrender. I can't, there's no way that I'm incapable of leaving this person alone. Like I give up. There's just, it's you. It's fucking you. I feel like sitting on my uh, pillow. Look into my eyes and you will see how much you mean to me. <gasps> Look at me. Look at me. It's like they want to hypnotize you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, so December confessions, huh? December confessions. I lied to protect myself from what I was feeling. <gasps> You see, they, they could have lied to you once upon a time and they're like, no, I, I don't want a relationship or I'm not the commitment type or yada, 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 right? And all this time you were thinking, I feel like they're bluffing or I feel like they're hiding behind a mask and what they're saying is not real and they're just putting on a persona. Bitch, you were fucking right. You were right. So they lied to you to protect what they were feeling. And now it's like they can no longer hide it or hold back, uh, hide it from you anymore. Damn. Okay. That's the fucking tea. <laughs> That's the tea, sis. Speaking of the tea, since we are into the tea moment right now, let's go ahead and pull some cards from my tea deck. Okay. So let's put this aside and let's get some more tea mm, whether it's connected to the situation or not okay so let's see this is the tea deck this is the one that i created okadoka let's see here what do we have Ooh, spill it bitch spill it Oh, that one almost came out. <gasps> oh, we got two of them. Okay, so we have reflecting and too busy winning. So a lot of you feminines have been reflecting on probably this person, love, reflecting on what went down this whole year, reflecting on what you want to happen next year, how shit's going to go down, whatever the case is. Um and the second part of you guys are just like, you're not even paying attention to this person. And maybe that's why they're coming through. 
you're just too busy hustling. You're too busy winning. You're too busy like in your own energy, in your own bubble, in your lane, you know, making it rain dollars and shit. And this person is watching. They're watching you. They notice you. Won't you know notice me? Notice me. Oh, I love that song. Okay, what else do we have? We oh that sucks. We have carless, no car, repo, and car issues. Remember in the beginning in the collective spread, I said somebody's gonna feel like gonna be stuck in a rut. It could also be due to car issues. So to avoid this car issue, whether it's you or your love interest, let's say for instance, you guys decide to meet up and suddenly they're like, oh fuck, something happened with my car. I can't show up. And you're over here thinking they stood you up and shit and you're all pissed off. Um, and that's probably not the case. It's because they have car issues or they've been having car issues and they're just ignoring the signs. Some of you guys, if this is you bitch and you have that little sign added, you know, little signs in your car, that you need to pay attention to bitch do not surpass that shit because when you need it the most that's just gonna fuck up on you especially when you're on your way to go get that dick down honey and you're just like stuck midway <laughs> you don't want that shit to happen okay what else do we have here for group number one Ooh, you're intimidating somebody somebody is threatened by your hustle Okay, group number one, if you have been in your own lane, if you have been like, you know, just hustling and shit, there could be a, 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 a friend, a fake friend, or it could also be an ex or a lover or whatever that is intimidated by your hustle. They are intimidated by you. Um, they're threatened, I guess, by your, up, I'm hearing uprising. If you have been working and busting your ass off all year, you're going to be getting a shitload of fucking rewards and then in the upcoming weeks, bitch. And everybody around you, your haters and even family members or toxic family members that applaud you but they're not too happy, they're fucking threatened by you. That means you're doing something right, bitch, right? Yes. Yeah, look, speaking of the fakes, be careful with the wolves and sheep's clothing, okay, um, in the next few days. Because, you know, if there's going to be a lot of exposing energy happening, something about the transits and um, I forgot. I, I, was, I was reading up on it and there's a lot of signs that are going to be like, I, I, I guess it's going to be your month. And you're going to be getting a lots of rewards and blessings and people who did you dirty and all these karmic ties that you were dealing with. Like it's going to be released and everything that has been held back for you because of that, those karmic contracts, it's all going to be released. And people can feel that energy that something amazing is about to happen to you. And so they feel threatened. They feel threatened by your energy. They feel threatened by, they feel something amazing is going to happen to you. So they'll try to attack you. They'll try to, the darker forces will use somebody or a group of people as conduits to try to fucking attack you. So be very careful. Okay, with the wolves in sheep's clothing. Okay, okay, schmucker. So let's go ahead and get um, uh, a money a money card and then we're going to move on to group number two, okay? So what do we have financially for career money-wise? I'm going to use my hustle deck. Okay, let's see. For group number one. What do we have financially for group number one? What advice do you have for career and money wise? Okay, so, oh, <laughs> bitch, cha-ching, what was I saying? What was I saying? You have good fucking things coming your way. Make it rain, bitch. And because of that, people are going to be threatened by you. You and you and you and you. Yep, you're going to be making it rain. You see that? That too busy winning card is going to be paying off. All right, let's see what else. Let's get three cards. Let's get three cards. Don't be afraid to fail. A lot of you guys are not afraid to fail and maybe perhaps you failed many, many times this year. And because of that, you're fucking getting the rewards of it. 
and you learn so many lessons because of it and honey a lot of good shit is going to come your way and a lot of people are learning from you they're you're they're inspired by you they're inspired by your hustle your ambition because you never gave up because of your consistency it wasn't about the numbers for you it was about the blessings it was about you being in your your truth and your authenticity and because of that your spirit guides are like it's time it's time she's the chosen one you know a lot of people can't handle what's what's coming their way they, they let clout get to them or they let the money get to them and then suddenly they fucking switch up and they become this this nasty person but for you god saw something special in you and so they're like make it rain for this bitch because she proved to us he or she proved to us that she can he or she can be humble during these moments okay yep that's right bitch that's right what fell oh bitch look what the fuck fell out i swear look level up it says time to take things to the next level you see that elevator boom it's going up boom bitch boom i rest my motherfucking case you see what i mean <laughs> all right honey yes what a beautiful way to end that read okay so we're done with group number one which is this baby now we're moving on to group number two which is the little coffee cup here so if you chose this little uh we'll call it a chestnut praline latte i don't know <laughs> so if you choose a little latte this message is for you mm, mm, mm. hold on really quick <laughs> for real huh <sighs> okay so we're going to start with the what you know what no i'm going to start with a tarot card before we get into the what's brewing because <laughs> this bitch don't play she don't play games okay she don't play games so i am going to get into the nightmare before christmas tarot let's see what we have for group number two let's give it a cleanse All right, here we go. Group number two. Something flipped over. See that? The fool. This is the beginning. This is someone saying, I'm doing it. I hear someone say, fuck it, I'm doing it. Just do it. Whether you're alone, you're not alone. I feel like this little person right here whatever is is your little spirit guide motivating you and pushing you and by your side during this this journey or this new change that you are um coming across let's see all right yeah six of candles so the six of candles here is about success recognition public recognition being in the public fucking eye okay so you could be th this could be the beginning of major success for you group number two okay you could be um i'm hearing discovered someone could be discovered let's say for instance you've been taking acting classes or you started your own channel um or you have been putting yourself out there like this is your time to shine you're going to be discovered you're taking those leap of faiths you are just saying fuck it to everything and taking the risk and you're just going for it you're just doing the damn thing and bitch look one 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 in the live one 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 that's confirmation that's confirmation right there and because oh, i'm telling you every time somebody's about to come up the fucking devil shows up look at this the fucking devil and be careful that the devil don't try to bite at your fucking ankle at your feet to try to get you off your path because this success is going to come with a heavy crown 
okay? Heavy is the crown, right? Heavy is the head that wears the crown. So the devil energy here is going to come in and test you. Whether it's they use this energy in another person, a love interest, a, a family member to come in to try to test you or push you off your path or convince you that you don't need to be on this path because they don't want to see you succeed because they know that you're going to fucking come up or you're going to leave them the fuck behind. Don't do it. Don't you'll don't do it. You're going to have that energy. You're going to feel it in your stomach. You're going to feel it in your core um, when something is off. Follow that instinct, okay? It's, it, it won't lie to you. Hold on. I need to get my um, my pillow so I can sit on it. I'm about to sit on Mariah Carey's face. <laughs> ah, bitch, I'm about to sit on your face. <laughs> That's better. Ooh, cushion for my tushy. You can see my boobies more, though. <laughs> Oopsie. Okay, so let's see what else. What else do we have here? The King of Pentacles. <gasps> Jack, the Pumpkin King. Okay, remember when Jack, and it's funny because the Sun card just came out, the bottom of the deck, right? This is like someone's uh, new path right? The, the, the discovery period here. And the star card is about illumination. It's about guidance. It's about hope. You see the little eyes in his eye or the little eyes, the, um, the lights in his eyes, flashing lights. I feel like it could be paparazzi, people wanting to take a picture with you, people wanting to like embrace you. They're going to be noticing you. You're going to be the light in the center of a dark room. And then with the King of Pentacles here, I feel like you you're some you're at the right place at the right time. Okay, this could be like, let's say you're Mariah Carey and this is Tommy Matola. <laughs> right? And <laughs> you meet the right person at the right time, and this motherfucker signs you, and suddenly you're like this huge Mariah Carey star. Right? I'm telling you, we have the star card and the person that you need to get you where you need to be. Right place at the right time. Why? Because you said fuck it. And because you said fuck it, you're going places. Now, and you're going to have a lot of success. Six of wands. That's that's a lot of that's a lot of success. Whether it's opening up your own uh Etsy shop, whether it's starting your own little business, it could be anything. Your own bakery, you know, making shit, making stockings, making dildos, I don't know. <laughs> making something, bitch, but because great things are coming, the devil is going to come in and try to fuck with your mentality. It kind of reminds me of the last me message of group number one. But like I said, something's in the ethers where this is going to be happening to almost everybody. So it's going to be up to you how you, which direction you decide to go when shit starts to come in. How it's going to affect you, your pride, your ego. Are you going to remain humble? What are you going to do with that energy? You know, um... It just depends, guys. You know, it's totally up to you. Don't don't let this devil energy fuck with you. When good things are coming, when finally good things start to come in, don't fuck up. Don't sabotage. Something flipped. The Ace of Pentacles. Yep. Opportunities coming your way. Opportunities being handed to you, bitch. Okay. You see that? Look at that big old smile on that motherfucker's face too. Like, <laughs> hey, I finally got what I wanted. And this is coming from the King of Pentacles too. So it could be a Capricorn Taurus Virgo. And if this has to do with love, let's say for instance, this has to do with love. If we flipped it over to love, um, it could be a Capricorn that you're dealing with or an Aquarius or an Aries. Because I see those three signs. Aquarius, Capricorn, Aries, it could be that you have been, this person has been noticing you and they've been through many relationships and you have, whether you were married or they were, someone separating, finally taking that leap of faith and separating from their person, whether it's a karmic partner or whoever. Um, and as soon as that happens, this motherfucker comes in like, you're mine, I'm snatching you. 
If you were a cute puppy on the street, I'm going to snatch you and make you mine and put you, I'm going to register you under my name. <laughs> it's some shit like that, right? Yes. Oh my God. The emperor, the emperor, something stuck on here. The three of cups. Oh, the three of cups was stuck with the emperor card. The emperor is, is Aries Taurus too. This is the, see, this is Tommy Matola. And you're Mariah Carey, like perfect opportunity. Celebrations coming up. You could be celebrating like, oh, let's say for instance, this Ace of Pentacles is, I finally got signed because someone recognized me or, you know, your shit's blowing up or your platform's blowing up or your book finally got released and it's like fucking number one or whatever. Or like they're signing you for a, a movie or it could be from something that big to something really small. Okay, but every win is a motherfucking win. Every win is a win. And anyways, back to the love part. If this has to do with love, there's a, a divine masculine who is choosing you to be their divine feminine to, to marry them. You are their light house and their dark night of soul. And they have been, the devil probably was fucking with them for so long. And now that... They went through these these tests. They're finally seeing you for who you are and, and noticing the test that has been around them. And they're like getting rid of that shit and they're releasing it. Those karmic ties. Wow. Yeah, a lot of you guys have lost hope in your business or your relationship. And that shit is coming back like. And look, I just oh, my God. Oh, I just I thought I saw 110. I was going to say that fucking number. But I'm telling you guys, like, keep your eyes peeled. Keep your eyes peeled. Keep hustling. You see an opportunity, you take it, even if it scares the shit out of you, okay? Even if it makes you go caca. <laughs> like, oh, my God, I'm nervous. I got to take a shit. Okay, when you when that happens, then, then you know some shit's going to go down. Something's going to be for real, for real. So I'm going to use the fortune reading cards. <laughs> be like, I got the bubble guts. What do we have for group number two? That was a weird shuffle. Okay, so there's two. Ah, what did I say about the three of cups? The celebrations. Ah, celebrate good times. Come on, it's a celebration. What did I say, ho? What did I say? Okay, so we have flowers and celebrations. Someone is blooming. Someone is blossoming. The flower is out. It's being recognized. It's standing out from all the other flowers. You know? Don't don't take me calling you a hoe, per, you know, personal. I, I, that's just how I talk to my bitches, okay? She's like, oh my gosh, she called me a hoe and a bitch. <laughs> Here come the fucking social media trolls. Don't be a Karen or a Karina, okay? Okay, but anyways, the celebration. I love it. It says, you are ready to bring new, the full card, new and exciting things into your life. Hey, ho, hey, ho. <laughs> and then we have flowers. Be generous. Success and emotional fulfillment are yours. Bitch, I'm done. I told you. I fucking told you. Success and emotional fulfillment is yours. I'm getting Ten of Cups energy with that. I'm going to read those two. Okay, I'm going to read the celebrations one first. Celebrate good times. Okay, so it says, congratulations. You are now reaping the rewards of your efforts over the past 12 months. <gasps> and we're on the 12th month. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Do you see what I mean? Okay. Get ready to celebrate with a series of fun parties and celebrations of all kinds. Your social calendar is filled and invitations pour into a furious pace. Make the most um, of fabulous networking opportunities. What did I say, bitch? Okay, Dyna, okay, Dyna, oh, I can't talk. I'm too excited and it's not even me. <laughs> Dynamic change is indicated and there is the potential for worldwide travel. Oh, worldwide travel, bitch. 
Are you Mariah Carey? Okay, there is a cause for celebration as you ooze self-confidence, attracting everything you want. <laughs> That's the star card, bitch. Decisions will need to be made right away, though. Putting things off could cost you dearly, so don't procrastinate or don't push it off. Okay, bitch. Um, I lost my spot. <laughs> Where am I? Heaven's sakes. Um, oh, yeah. If you miss the opportunity, it'll cost you dearly. Be prepared, too. That long-term plan should be made right now for best results. The path to success is there for the taking. Oh, bitch. Now, let's read the flowers card. Okay. Okay, it says this card is all about abundance and being grateful for what you have. Spend time outdoors in the garden or park and appreciate the beauty of the flowers around you. Give some to a friend, partner, or colleague in appreciation. Flowers also represent beauty. So let's say you have your own beauty channel. You just started it. Bitch, you're going to blow up. Or like this huge brand like wants to sign you or work with you or some shit like that. And you're like, oh my God, it's finally happening. It could be some shit like that. Um, we also have appearances are the uh, most important at the moment. So give yourself that long awaited color change or haircut and get some trending new gear. Be positive. Your future will be filled with much happiness and pure joy. <gasps> I'm so excited for you. You see what I mean? Like, dang. Group number two. Ooh. I like what I'm hearing, honey. I like it a lot. Mm. All right, so what do you need to surrender to? What is it that group number two needs to surrender to for the end of the month coming into the new year? What do you need to surrender to? This is the power of surrender cards. That's so funny. Remember how the last card said, get out in nature? It says surrender to the beauty of the natural world, okay? It says, take a relaxing break and spend time in nature. Replenish yourself by feeling the beauty and the ecstasy there. Beauty and nature. It, those two key words came out again. Beauty and nature. <clears throat> let's see. Let's get another one. So spend some more time outside. Maybe you've been stuck quarantined for too long, right? You, you ain't got a tan no more, honey. You looking Napoleon. I can see through your skin. Okay, we have surrender to effortlessness. This reminds me of that uh, Jennifer Lopez music video where she's dancing and the water pours down on her. <laughs> it's a stop pushing so hard. The art of living means going with the flow instead of trying to force the river. You ain't got to work too hard, honey. You don't. If you put that in your mind that you have to bust ass, then nothing will happen until you bust ass because you planted that seed inside of your inten intentions, right? Let's get one more. Surrender your belief in scarcity. Look at that. The universe is asking you to open to the be open to the infinite nature of abundance. And this way you can remove blocks in your life and succeed beyond your wildest dreams. You see? Some of you guys had to remove that fear of change, which is why we had the full card and I picked up the word, fuck it, I'm just going to do it. That's that's because you guys had that, ooh, I'm too scared of change or I'm scared to fail or what if it doesn't work out, you know. And because you finally said, fuck it, it's kind of like the fool, look at the fool with the backpack, right? Thinking about that path before he goes on that path and says, fuck it, I'm just going to do it. And then it leads to success. So a lot of you guys had to get rid of that fear which was creating a freaking blockage right yes so all right now let's go ahead and uh let's get what's uh brewing spilling the beans whether this is in regards to haters fake friends or relationships or whoever whatever I'm breaking the, I broke the deck in half. We have brainstorming and total drama action. Uh-oh. Someone could be plotting. Put that back. Put it back. All right, here we go. Spill the beans, spirit, for group number two. 
What is brewing for group number two? Okay, so we have outdated, expired, disused, old news, discarded. Some of you guys are getting rid of old belief systems, okay? You're getting way, you're getting rid or finally releasing your old way of thinking, seeing shit, believing. That's because you're leveling up, right? When you're reaching a, a higher level, you're leaving the old behind because you're you're moving on up. It took a lot for you to push through that second level or that third or fourth level, whatever. Whatever's outdated, it's no longer going to serve you, right? It's it's kind of like going back to um it's kind of like going back to a cassette player and you're like, "Yeah, this isn't going to work out." It, yeah, it's too difficult. It's too staticky. It's not going to work out. I don't like it anymore. Um, it, it, that pertains to a certain love interest that you were so sprung up on. And now, like, when you finally see them or whatever, you're like, what the fuck was I thinking? Like, this is you old news, dude. Like, I don't want you no more. Or I don't want this job no more. Or I don't see this career the same anymore. Because you're you're ascending. You're evolving. So everything around you starts to change too, you know? Even the foods that you eat. Certain foods will start to taste different. Oh, <gasps> look what flew out, bitch. Fake friends. <laughs> yeah. You, some of you guys are outgrowing some, your friends, right? Because you're becoming more spiritual and a lot of them still have a lot of karmic contracts to fulfill. And you're like, I don't want to be in your level no more, bitch. I'm not in your level anymore. And those fake smiles, I can see right through them now. I don't need to be around your fake ass. I don't, I can, I just can't. I can see through your skin, bitch. <laughs> like, I, we can't. <laughs> so you could be releasing fake friends. Um, a lot of friends could be exposed to the ones that you think have your back, really don't have your back. They'll probably have a knife to your back, right? Yeah, oh, bitch. Knife through the back. We have betrayal, snake. It literally says deceit and backstab. Oh, I fucking can't. I literally, oh my God. You see, you can't make this shit up. Thank you, spirit. You can't make this shit up. Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. The ones you thought had your back actually have a knife to your back. They could be trying to throw you under the bus or look for the perfect opportunity to try to expose you or make you look bad in front of a certain group of people or try to push you to your limits to try to make you fucking crazy or whatever so that you're not doing your daily task or working or anything like that. They wanna keep you in low vibe energy because that's where they are and they're starting to get lonely in their low vibe energy because you surpass that energy. You're no longer marinating in it. So they're by themselves in that petty ass energy and now they're trying to lower you back down. And you're like, nah, boo, nah, boo. Yeah, you got to check yourself. Check yourself, bitch. Sometimes you're going to be tested like, ooh, Petty LaBelle is coming up. Petty LaBelle, honey. But then you, tr then you ground yourself and remember how hard you worked to get to where you are and, and how much healing you went through to try to let some petty shit or person, place, or thing fuck that up for you. So you're learning how to check yourself and ground yourself and tell yourself, you know what? I don't, I don't need this. I don't deserve this. Setting the record straight. Yeah. A lot of you guys are going to be setting the record straight. You're going to be like, if they're spreading rumors about you, you're going to be getting on like, look, this is facts. I have the receipts. This person is a liar. Don't believe this person. You could have a group of people coming after you or whatever. Um, and you're you're telling it like it is. And sometimes the universe will expose these people because they got into some other shit or their karma is catching up to them. And you didn't have to do shit but sit there and sip your motherfucking coffee, bitch. Watching with your popcorn like, damn. I'm glad I left you behind. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Yep. You're going to be so busy that you're not, you're not, some of you guys are not even going to recognize or, or see all the drama that's going to go down with these people. You're just going to be so busy. Like I ain't got time for this. I'm too blessed. I'm booked and blessed for this. Too booked and too blessed. Ooh, 
Oh, we got promiscuous. What is, hold on, this whole deck keeps falling down. Okay. All right, so we have the promiscuous card. <laughs> so we have sleeps around a hoe, a free for all sleeps with your man. Why do I feel like it's this fake ass bitch? Why do I feel like it's a fake friend, right? Somebody who's after your man low key. It could be a petty ass family member, right? That don't like you. And they're like, oh, let's let's introduce your man to somebody that we like because we don't like you. And they'll go try to hook up your man with somebody else because they don't like you. Or they're intimidated by you and your growth. Yeah. That, that I feel like that could be the betrayal. Maybe a close friend of yours or somebody that you know is, is trying to fuck your person. Maybe your person was like, hey, you need to check your girl. She's over here sending me nudes or some shit. Right? And you're over here needing to set the record straight or your man could be trying to set the record straight. Like, I don't want you, ho, right? Better be careful. For some, the guys will take the fucking bait. And for for the good men, the, the good men will tell you and they won't take the bait. Right? Yeah, we have destroyed. Some people just want to see you destroyed, fucked up, shattered, broken. lower you down to their level you don't you don't want that to happen mm -mm. Mm -mm. <clears throat> just be very careful who you're dealing with you'll feel it too you'll feel you will feel the energy worst nightmare look at this shit it's like they don't want to fuck with you right they don't because then you'll turn into their worst nightmare. Or their worst nightmare is seeing you succeed so fucking good that you make them look like shit. You school them. You fuck. You didn't one up them. You like a hundred up them. <laughs> is that even a word? I don't know. But you are this person's worst nightmare. Whoever it is. Whether it's a fake friend. A toxic ex. A narcissistic family member. A monster-in-law, whoever the fuck, like this person, you are their worst nightmare and they're threatened by your, your come up and that will be exposed. Okay. I'm also hearing for those that have been promiscuous, you're like, you know what? I've changed. I, I don't want to sleep around anymore. Like your hoe days are over with and now you just want to be you're a divine feminine and be like, I'm not hoeing it no more. <laughs> baby steps, boo. Baby steps. <laughs> All right, let's get a message. Uh, let's get three cards or two cards from my hustle deck. Let's see what comes out financially for you guys, even though we did get lots of blessings in the uh, other cards. Okay, there's one. Let's turn this around. Yes, workaholic. What else do we have? Ask for help and assistance for those that need a little extra push, a little extra help, whether it's getting a loan to start that business, that's going to, you're going to take a leap of faith and say, fuck it. And somebody's going to be there to help you, right? It could be that King of Pentacles we picked up earlier. Someone's there to hook you up or, you know, someone who knows somebody and then a lot of you guys are going to be becoming workaholics. Remember we had that busy card? Too busy. It says loving what you're doing. When you love what you do, you don't work a day in your life. It's true. When you love what you do, you don't work a day in your motherfucking life. <clears throat> Let's see what else we have here. A huge breakthrough finally. Boom. You see that? Some of you guys are going to be having major breakthroughs. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Started from the bottom, now the whole team love you, baby. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Yes. Yep. 
You know why? Because you were fucking smart with your money. You are smart with your money and your time and your energy. And for those that have not been, take note, bitch. Take note. Take note. That this feels like I'm putting something in a stocking. Take note. <laughs> All right, so that's ending group number two. Now we are moving on to group number three. So if you chose the mocha chocolate frappuccino right here, okay, this is your message. Hold on, I'm thirsty. I don't even want that coffee no more. Drink my aloe vera. Okay, so group number three, I'll put this here. All right, group number three. Where's my other tarot deck? Where did it go? Okay, I'm gonna start by using the Golden Universal Tarot. This deck brings back so many memories of when I first started doing tarot. Oh! All right, here we go. Let's cleanse the energy. You probably thought I forgot, huh, bitch? Okay, here we go. Group number three, messages for group three. We have justice. We have the queen of pentacles. Two of pentacles and the ace of pentacles. God damn. Damn. Um, hello? Is somebody getting like a major lawsuit? Or you're getting some type of compensation and you're going to be a rich bitch? I'm a rich bitch and I smell like it, right? Just like Cardi B says. Like, holy shit, you're going to be juggling multiple like... I'm, I'm picking up multiple side hustles, bringing in income, multiple resources and shit. Like some of you guys are divorcing and you're getting a whole lot of shit. All right. Like you taking it. I'm also picking up that you are uh, lots of opportunities are coming your way. I feel like it could be two opportunities, major opportunities. And you're like, which one should I take? Which one should I take? Bitch, I have a feeling you're not going to choose and you're going to you're going to juggle them both. You're going to juggle them fucking both. You're like, why do I have to choose, bitch? Like, I'll find a way to balance this out. Balance out the scales, right? That's going to be you. You're like, I ain't got to fucking choose. I'm going to take them both. I'm going to take them both. Yep. Blessings are coming your way. This is you. Queen of Pentacles. Opportunities being handed to you. Money coming in. <clears throat> If you're suing somebody, it's going in your favor. Yep, someone did you dirty. Seven of Swords. Someone um, did you dirty, honey. Whether it's uh, divorcing because of infidelity or whatever. Okay? Yes, like Mariah Carey. You gotta make it happen. See? Someone did you dirty and you're getting justice. Someone tried to sue you or do you dirty in some type of fucking way or whatever. And they didn't, psh, it didn't go their way, honey. Whether it's alimony, child support, a lawsuit, whatever. Mm-hmm. All because they tried to fuck with you. Yep. They they don't they don't think that you have like this whole group of ancestors and spirit guides that have your back and they see everything that people try to do to you. Like, do you not think? Hello. Do, do these people not think? Six of Pentacles. Honey, you're going to be so fucking wealthy that you're going to be providing, right? You're going to be donating to charity or your people are just going to be handing you money left and right. Things, possessions, whatever it is, like you're, you're getting it all. Generous. Generous.
what else do I see here? I see children involved. Some of you guys have children involved. Yep, Nine of Swords. At first, at first, when all this was happening, you're like, ay Dios mio, right? Like this bitch here in her bed. She's like, oh my God, ay Dios mio, what's gonna happen? But God got your back, okay? Your spirit team got your back. Now I feel like whoever is losing, whoever lost, is gonna be freaking out because they did you dirty. Mm -hmm. It's like they're so scared their wee wee is gonna fall off. Like, oh my God, where'd it go? <laughs> their wee wee is gonna fall right off, bitch. <laughs> They're going to be hella scared when shit's going to be taken from them. Like, whoever wanted to see you fall or take from you or see you lose, I'm telling you, that person is going to be left with shit. Their business is going to be taken away or they're going to end up in jail. Someone's going to do them dirty bad where they ain't going to have shit no more. Later on, this person is probably going to beg you for support. You might even feel bad for them. You might even give them a little bit, a little bit of chump change. You're like, here, I feel bad for you. Whatever the situation is, I don't know. You might even be petty LaBelle bitch like here. Go buy yourself a latte or something. Go sip on your, your petty latte. <laughs> yeah, you see? Ten of Wands, like this person is going to have responsibility after responsibility. They're going to be struggling, bitch. Struggling. Because they fucked with you. You're getting... I, I also feel like for those that are not dealing with like a lawsuit or anything. This could literally be your spirit guides. The universe giving you. Handing you over the crown. Handing you over the blessings. Because people did you dirty behind the scenes. Behind the fucking curtain. Your haters. They did you dirty. Or they wish bad upon you. Or they did juju to see you fell. Behind the scenes, spirit came in and said, nope, nope, you, you won. You got your justice. We're giving you the blessings. You're the one that, deserve, that deserves it. And because of that, you're going to be the queen of pinnacles. Yep. And the rest of them, the haters, they're going to be in the, the, the nine of swords energy, the seven of swords energy, and the ten of wands energy. Damn. Damn. Sucks to be you. Damn, who's throwing fireworks right now? As soon as I said, damn, I heard a boom. It was a firework. I was like, who's throwing fireworks? <laughs> she dropped the bomb on me, baby. You dropped the bomb on me. The king of swords. This could be your lawyer or you're up against an air sign. It could have been a narcissistic ex-husband that tried to take all your shit and leave, leave you with nothing. And now it backfired on them because they were not smart at all. Maybe they tried to take everything from you to try to give it to their piece of shit karmic or some shit like that and it didn't work. <laughs> Loser! Right? <laughs> oh, how the tables turn. Yeah. Somebody's going to be rushing in, pissed as a motherfucker, with the Knight of Swords here. They're going to be pissed. And you're just going to sit there like, uh-huh, I don't care what you say, bitch. I won already. You lost. Loser! You can't sit with us. Mm-hmm. Oh, honey, honey, the Empress, the motherfucking Empress and the Ace of Cups. I'm done. I rest my case. You see what I mean? Do you see what I mean? A lot of you guys could be announcing a pregnancy as well. Yep. Blessing. You're going to be in the fucking Empress and Queen of Pentacles energy. Dude, the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. Get the fuck out. No wonder why these haters or whoever that wish bad upon you is stressed than a motherfucker. So fucking stressed. Because whatever they did to you, honey, spirit saw that behind the scenes and it backfired. You got your justice or you're about to receive your justice. This is being handed straight from the divine. That's boss bitch energy right there. 
What was I telling you guys earlier? I'm telling you guys a lot of people are going to be exposed. And whoever deserves the good life is going to get that shit instantly. Oh, I love that shit. I love that shit. <sighs> Makes me wet. No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But you know what I mean. <sighs> All right. What deck am I going to use? Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Let's use the Romance Angels. Okay. What's coming towards you in love? What do you guys need to know in regards to love? I'm hearing somebody say, who cares about him? <laughs> you deserve love. You are lovable. For those who have felt like you didn't deserve love or you felt like just because one motherfucker didn't pay you attention or they weren't there for you or they were ghosting you or they were treating you like shit or they were ignoring you or blocking you and shit like that and it made you feel like something was wrong with you, honey, it wasn't you, it was them because you clearly, obviously deserve love. Don't be afraid to say thank you next. Thank you for teaching me a valuable lesson. You're no longer fucking waiting for Cupid. You're becoming Cupid yourself. You see that bow and arrow? Yes. We are in, and it's funny, we're in Sagittarius season, right? Look at that bow and arrow, honey. Sagittarius. Happy birthday to my Saggies. My daughter just turned 18. <laughs> I'm like, can you go back in the womb? <laughs> She's like, ew, mom. <laughs> Okay, so, oh my God, reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Who, who this is? Could this be the person that you thought was in shit? <laughs> or could this be actually someone that you want? It says, getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Okay, so you and this person that you're reconciling with, again, could be a divine masculine twin flame whatever um they could even be a sagittarius or you are but it could be that you guys are going to communicate more than before you're going to get to know each other all over again it's like you knew their lower side their petty side or whatever even if they weren't petty or not but you're going to see a whole another side to them and your bond is going to deepen you're going to become more closer to them you're going to it's like fall in love all over again <clears throat> chemistry there's a strong magnetic attraction between you and whoever this is that you're gonna grow closer with the closer you bond the the, uh, the hotter the more steamier the more electrifying the chemistry becomes it's like there's magic in the touch right just how they're creating magic in their hands. It's like when you guys touch, your, 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 your hands vibrate. Or there's like electricity. Have you guys ever seen that show, uh, Diablero, on Netflix? Diablero. And then that girl that always has like, that attracts demons in her body because she can control them. And the priest, whenever they, they touch hands, it's like electrifying. Look at that shit. It kind of reminds me of that. Hmm, interesting, because there's great power between you and this person. Healing family issues, but I, I, I feel like you're healing what had happened between you guys in the past, which is why or there needed to be a lot of healing in order for you guys to reconcile. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Yeah, this person's being guided to make the effort. They're being guided towards you. You see how the little boy is like, get your ass over here, little girl. You're mine. <laughs> yeah, this person is going to be reaching out to you, reconciling with you. And look at in the reconciliation card, how he's just like holding her. Same thing here. He's holding her. Like, come here. It's like, I never let you go. You always had some type of hold on me. Ah. <sighs> 
I have a feeling like you just melt away with this person because they smell so good. Like there's something about this person, the way that they smell that every time you inhale them, it's like oh, you're suddenly under their spell. Okay, so what other deck am I going to use for you guys? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pull some uh, Oracle cards from the Love and Tragedy Oracle to see what comes through. Oh, shit. Nope, put that back, though, because I'm not ready. Faith, walking blindly, walking by faith. You see that? It says, you are being called to hold faith within your soul right now. Move forward knowing that sometimes we have to take a leap, even if we cannot see the outcome. Sometimes our soul calls us to move simply to teach us we can, okay? To be driven and guided by inner faith that regardless of the outcome, there is something to learn through the experience. It's all about taking that leap, right? Let's get another one. A fragment. This is about feeling broken. Sometimes it seems that life is split into so many parts, all of them separate and difficult to bring together. This signifies someone who is feeling broken and shattered. Which is funny because it's like, hey, if you've been feeling like that due to love or a loss or whatever it is that's personally going on in your life, Spirit's like, you, you got to have a little bit more faith, okay? Um, sometimes you hold yourself back because you don't see the outcome in a situation and that's why you're not making any moves or healing or jumping into another relationship or starting something new or whatever it could mean. It's about that. That's a test right there. That's a test. Let's get one more. Waiting. Oh my God, these words are so tiny. Okay, it says she waits patiently, her fingers gently feeling the satin thread that binds them together. <gasps> the red string of fate. She knows that he will come, but the waiting is killing her. Oh, this reminds me of the twin flame journey. Timing is an important factor in life. And it's funny, right? We have waiting and then we have the reconciliation card. Mm, yep. Okay, so we all have to go through times where we have to wait. Show patience and let life, the universe, do as they wish. And so she waits for him, knowing that she too has things that she must finalize before they meet again and they can finally come together. And it's funny because remember how I said some of you guys had to heal in order for this connection to come together? Fragment, pieces. You had to stitch yourself together like Sally in, in the Nightmare Before Christmas. You had to pull yourself together and heal. And so did that person as you waited. And now you're coming into reconciliation. <gasps> I fucking love it. And look at the bottom of the deck. Flirt. It says flirting does not have to be sexual. Anyone can flirt. And it is used for a few different reasons. To try and attract someone or show you have an interest in in them or simply to be playful or reconnect it can be used to move closely i can't even read this is so small it can be used to move closer to someone's personal space so some of you guys perhaps are flirting with someone online or you just like to argue with them or flirt some of you guys like to flirt by like throwing shade at them and laughing at them and making fun of them for their mistakes or being having that little sassy witty humor that you have like haha loser like that's what your ass gets 
and you're laughing at them and they're like, oh, oh, you want to fight, huh? Wait, wait, wait till I see you. I'm going to spank you for acting up. That, that could be the type of flirting you guys do and it probably brings you guys together. For others of you guys, it could be that you are flirting with someone and you end up um, getting to know them and getting closer together and you end up creating this magical special bond with one another and then you guys take it from there. Mm -hmm. So that's nice. So let's go ahead and get some cards from my hustle deck and then we will wrap it up. <clears throat> I feel my throat closing up. Oh no, darling. Oh no. I've been yapping too much today. Okay. What do we have for group number three? Luck is on your side, okay? Look at that shit. I love it. Anything you touch turns to gold. Some of you guys, you guys better be careful. Try not to get greedy, okay? Because you might have a bunch of things coming your way. Don't let that devil energy affect you. Watch out for greediness, okay? Because just like that, it can be taken. So some of you guys don't let money get to you or some of you guys know someone who allows money or success to get to their head and they can become very, very greedy. We also have get off your ass and get shit done. Ooh, are you a Taurus? No. <laughs> For some of you guys, hey, you're not going to create any changes sitting on that boo hoo tea, the boo hoo tea right you want to get places you got to get up and get moving okay some of you guys have to learn how to save your money too okay <laughs> you have to learn how to save your money i know it could be hard for some of you guys it's going to be hard for you especially if money is going to be coming in one way or another you're going to be like "Ooh, i'm gonna buy that box of tampons with a uh, servoski crystals <laughs> You're like, bitch, you don't need that. <laughs> you don't need a bloody pad that's going to be bling the fuck out for you to just throw it away. Don't be stupid with your money. Like, some of you guys spend money on stupid shit like that. Like, blinged out water bottles or whatever. I don't know. But like, save your money. Don't spend it on stupid shit. All right? Oh, my gosh. All right, let's get one more. We got debt free at last. At last. I am not in debt no more. <laughs> Some of you guys have paid off your debts financially and karmic wise. You're like, yeah, I'm free from fucking debt. I can finally buy that house or that boat or start that business or whatever that was screwing your credit up, right? Credit is going to go sky high, honey. Sky high. Oh, all right. So we are ending it there. I hope you guys enjoyed the reading. And I hope you guys enjoyed the ensemble. Who's Mike? Magic Mike? <laughs> is this a Magic Mike situation? You're very welcome. Appreciate you, love you, and enjoy you. If you guys are not following me on Instagram, please follow me at Fire Witch Tarot. Um, I did a recent post and reposted Mystic Moon, Mystic Moon Oracle's post that we will be going live, collaborating and going live on Monday, this Monday on the 7th. Okay, uh, all the information is there. So you guys, please head on over so that you guys can join us. We're going to be doing uh, collective spreads. We're going to be doing um, deck giveaways, me and her. And we're going to be having some fun. And I am going to be dressing up. It ain't going to be in this. It's going to be in something different. But I hope to see you guys over there. Don't forget to spread the word. 
All right, amores. Thank you guys so much for being here at this late night with our little late night sessions. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you, love. <laughs> Have a good night, darlings. Bye-bye. How do I turn this off? <laughs> I'm like, bye. I don't even know how to turn it off. Okay.